Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. Dear viewers, welcome back to Youth Hour. We were talking about youth and marriage. And you know, like we are rushing trying to get the stuff in. And you're more than welcome to call us, tell us your views as well, inshallah. So before we went for a break, Shumi was saying something. Yeah. Shumi. So uh, to continue the you know, points I was making that um, to understanding the men, women, psychology, each other. So after getting married, you know, the problems happens because uh, we think that why she is acting like this? And uh, the girls say, why he is acting like this? <laughs> so then we are like, it's awful. Why, why each other? You know, both of them are thinking the weird thing and the ego works and some cultural issues work as well. And sometimes people, um, you know, do not want to express their feeling. And one thing I want to mention here, you know, I was doing a mental health awareness course. And in UK, particularly, four out of four, one person, uh, every four person, one in every four person are suffering some kind of uh, mental health problems. And as people are lonely, people are having problems with their relationships, altogether these are affecting people's peace, people, people's, mm. you know, um, the quality of life. So, and marriage and family is the, like, kind of the bottom unit of um, this world. So, when this doesn't work, then people fall down. That's yeah. the, that's the mm, main that's thing, you know. And then uh, w when we don't understand the psychology of each other, then we, th we uh, behave like we don't understand each other. So we have to understand the psychology. Like um, um, I want to um, um, mention a very simple but, you know, very important psychology. Like uh, soon after getting married, the emotion works very, very high. So we want each other more and we want the, you know, company of each other more. We don't want to be departed to each other for a little bit of time even. So then uh, at that time even um, uh, sometimes it happens that uh, the, the men particularly, um, the women are expecting this kind of thing more than men. They want their husband more closer, uh, particularly for six months, mm. you know. And then the men sometimes thinking that why she is doing like this? I'm not going anywhere. And she's um, behaving like a, you know, cute young lady. Um, and it's supposed not to be like this. Then the husband has to understand mm. that why she is doing like this. Before marriage, uh, they have to understand each other, what their expectations within five, within one year, what mm. happens usually, you know. Again, the problem with that yes. is communication again. Yes, not again, the communication. Yeah. To actually understand the needs of each other. But beforehand, if you know, if they're uh, informed that uh, the women behave like this and the men behave like this, so then it will be, you know, easier than... Uh, the women will be expecting, okay, this is very natural, this, it happens. The husband also be expecting that, okay, women are like this, emotional. Mm, yeah. So we have to tackle this. Yeah, yeah so we I have to deal with this. Some of these issues, I think, can be dealt with before they embark on marriage. They, mm. they need to understand. I think education has to come into it. Oh, yeah, way, way because before they even embark on a yes. marriage. I know, because yes. remember, we're not dating before the marriage. Remember that? Yeah. 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 It's hard to know. Absolutely. So education is very important. So some of but, these workshops but that you were talking. But what about, you know, that uh, when they are even dating and getting married and it doesn't work? Yes, what happened? Like my, one of my colleagues, I can give you an example here. She's from... Um, uh, somewhere. Uh, yeah, she's somewhere. from somewhere. <laughs> I mean, within Europe, definitely. But um, she, told, she was sharing me and caring, uh, crying a lot in front of me that they dated like 16 years, got married. It was very wonderful. But all of a sudden, after the second son born, then uh, the guy completely left her alone. Completely left her alone. So It has to be, yeah. You're right. You have yeah, to be mature enough. Like you 16 have, you years, have to be patient. they know each other, mm. then what happens? Happiness is patient. Can I come to you, madam? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, tell me about your uh, stuff you went to. What do you think? You've been hearing quite different right. stuff. Probably you'd even had it before, probably. I'm sure I see me. Yes, very different cultures, mm. uh, different religions. And even within Christianity, um, singleness, uh, celibacy and singleness is supported and encouraged for the right person. If that's what God has called you to, then that is to be respected. 
Uh, but since the panel is talking about marriage, then I'll speak to mm -hmm. marriage. Uh, I think, you know, it really goes back to the conversation about communication and wanting to have a life partner that you can experience life with. Mm -hmm. And um, for us, my husband and I, it really has been about companionship and loving someone mm -hmm. who loves you back. Regardless of your flaws, mm -hmm. I know it's hard to believe that we have flaws, but we all do. We all have uh, quirks and things that we have to get used to. Mm -hmm. And when you haven't lived with a person before, and all of a sudden you're now in the same household and experiencing everything with that person, communication has to be included in the marriage. Yeah. Otherwise, you become more and more distant and you assume that you know what's going on, but you don't. Mm. And so for people who are wondering about successful marriages, I think uh, that's also a loaded word, but mm -hmm. uh, I think success comes after time. You have to be able to live with that person and understand that person better. So, you know, in spite of all the statistics, because in America, uh, half the people who get married, or the people who get married, half of them will divorce. Um, that's that's the almost similar here, forty two percent here. That's right. Mm. Recently read it. Yeah. But in spite yeah. of that data, people are still getting married. Mm. Yeah. So there's some part of us that still believes marriage is a good thing. That we ought to, on some level, have that companionship. A life partner. Can I ask you a, a hard question? Please. Uh, to you guys mm -hmm. as well. There is an accusation from the uh, people who are not practicing uh, religion. Mm -hmm. They would say we are undermining, do we undermine women in our religion? Like um, when you marry, so they will say women has to do what the man says. It. In, in, in our not in my culture. So <laughs> not this thing is accusation that no. they are using. Uh, um, so the man is the, the boss of the house, so he doesn't have to share anything with the woman. You know. It's against, against Islam as well. Yeah, absolutely. So. It's very cultural. It's a very cultural thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure, you know, where that concept ever came from. Mm -hmm. But it was never something as part of Islam, definitely not spiritual Islam, where, you know, um, even such as things as such as breastfeeding your own child is something that, you know, the uh, Quran talks about that you have to, uh, the, the husband has to pay for the woman if she decides that she doesn't want to. Um, but it's about sharing the workload and it's about... You know, you've got so many, um, so many examples from various hadith which discuss the element of working together as husband and wife. Um, in, in, you know, in various various hadith that you've heard about, um, and even Quran talks about equality. I mean, we could take but it doesn't talk about somebody being a subordinate or somebody we who's could, We could take submissive. example from Prophet himself. So if you go and say we could be biased and I could learn something mm. wrong. If we take an example from him, it's enough. I mean, isn't it enough? Like he helped his wife, he, mm -hmm. he worked with his wife, they were partnership, they shared views, they, you know, they were planning together, they were racing together. I mean, it shows how loving life is. Absolutely. He never ever beat his anyone. No. The, how the hell did we learn these stupid things like we're beating <laughs> the wives and husbands is the man of with the, with the big mistake, not like him, but yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But I think a lot of, some of that has come from uh, that some of it has come from somebody, uh, some other cultures, yeah. um, and it's grown into us. And I think, or and once it's uh, once it's kind of inbred into us. Do you think it's a man's nature to control and rule? No, I think uh, no, I, think, kind, yeah. I, I think, think what's is. happened. Is, <laughs> I think what's no. happened no. is have if people have observed that behavior, it's a learned behavior. If it's um, if, for example, you come from a family where they've been doing it for generations, you accept it. Recently, this week, I read about um, an article this week, which is quite alarming. And there are women, uh, a part of uh, a different nation, where they actually accept being beaten by their husbands is actually a good thing because it shows them that their husbands love them. <laughs> and they accept that as a normal behavior. Okay, I think we've got a caller in the line. Hello, caller. Asalaamu Alaikum. I just wanted to say, brilliant show, really, really interesting topic. Um, I just wanted to ask all your guests because it seems all you guys have been married for quite a lengthy time. Yeah. <laughs> but someone who's quite young, um, hopefully looks to get married quite soon. I wanted to ask you guys a question about the rise 
of technology. So if you look at how technology has developed over the last 10 years, everything has become so fast, instant, on demand. Do you think that kind of psychology and mindset is also coming into people's marriages where we know we're constantly told to upgrade, get a new model, get a new phone? So do you think people start thinking that in their marriages as well where they think, hang on, I've been married for a number of years. The sister alluded to, you know, someone she knew you know, had been dating for a long time and after a couple of years he just completely went off the, mm. off the wife. So do you think, you know, that, that's a potential problem that we're going to face in the future as well? Wow. Well, st- I mean, <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, um, that's another show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that needs a couple of hours. Right. <laughs> but okay. I think it's about influences okay. as well. If you um, could answer. I think... Um, when he's talking about moving on from upgrading in technology and things like that, it is, it's starting to be something, you know, you, uh, we are becoming people, we're becoming very intolerant. Mm. We've become very intolerant. Um, and just like we're moving from, say, for example, one job to the other job, because we can't, uh, w- we can't cope with stresses of life, we think that the only answer and solution to that is by moving on to something different. And I think we're starting to believe that even we could use that and utilize that kind of mentality in marriage too. Um, I don't think we can hang on to um, you know, a lot of the idea that um, we've got good friends even. If we observe that happening in society, mm. we believe that we can use that towards our own situation, apply that to our own selves. And I think that's where I was talking about Hollywoods and celebrities and everything else. Once you've, once you've focused on what everybody else is doing, or even soaps and uh, films and that kind of dialogue that's happening around you, even in your workplace, you believe and you try to apply that to your own marriage. Yes. Would you know, I mean, the brother, the, I mean, in a nutshell, you were saying, people might start thinking to upgrade their wives yeah. <laughs> or for sisters upgrade their husband. I mean, it could be seen either way. But the way you go to see it, if you really th- think deeply, when I started with the government for one another, of course, your wife is upgraded as time go by. First, you meet a very single, very young woman. Mm. She comes into Which your life and you find time, you find common things, you start creating a new dream together. Then she becomes the mother of your child. Yeah. She's upgraded now. Of course she, she is not yeah. the single woman that she yeah. had. Now, yeah. if she had left it's your life amazing. in the beginning, you would have been only one person living your life. But if she lives your life after she she's given a birth to your children, now your mother, the mother of your children, is living your life. So there's more to it. You will feel Features the pain. Are yeah. Yeah. You you feel the pain more. As they go by, the same she might become a mother of more, and then the, she becomes the whole part of you. Don't forget your physicality changes. As a, well as hers as well. Now she loves you for who you are. You love her for what she is. I was. I used to wear. I used to wear uh, different clothing when I was 16. Just imagine me with the same clothing that I used to wear 16 sitting today. You would know, you you'd make comments. I'm talking to the brother directly, <laughs> and those who are thinking the same. But I have changed the way I dress. Same thing. The marriage changes. Time changes. As you grow, you start enjoying different things. The problem we have is we don't upgrade one another, we don't value one another, we don't love one another. And I want to le- tell you one thing, my brother, if you're going to take Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our prophet, as a role model, just imagine him kissing his wife on the forehead and saying, this is how much I love you. How often have you ever, uh, Alhamdulillah, I practiced it, practiced it after I read it, have you done this? How often would you take a, buy a uh, flower I do that. I like to advise you. You do every Friday, Friday, every yeah, Friday. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Take something for your wife and say, "This is for you." With a smile. So yes, your what wife. Why wife do it to us, man? Huh? Why do I have to do it? Well, <laughs> no, 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 and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. I don't see. The, 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 no, it's very the, the problem, the problem we have. The problem. The problem we have. The problem we have. We do not value one another. Yeah. We don't go out and use your. F- I mean, many might disagree. If I'm, if I can upload pictures of myself and my friends and the gathering of today, surely I can upload me and my wife having a good time too, encouraging others yeah. in the best way as possible. That's my opinion only, by the way. And having a good time with your children, and then uploading it, and uh, Alhamdulillah, make sure you don't get no evil eyes. So say Bismillah yeah, when you yeah. do it. So I would say to you, yes, we are going into this. Uh, uh, mentality where we want to upgrade, upgrade, 
But how do you know the upgrade that you're thinking of will not become the biggest pain in your life? Indeed. Sometimes we upgrade to a bigger car. Suppose I, I drive a car now very comfortably because this is within my means. Now, if I start dreaming and upgrading and I end up getting a Lamborghini, which is uh, going to put a lot of pressure on me mm. to afford it, I might drive it for 10 seconds or two, uh, 10 minutes and people see go past or oh, he is enjoying life. But in reality, I am going pain every day to pay the payment for that car. Yeah. So in real life, I'm, I'm having sleepless night because of the car that you think Oh man, this guy is having Absolutely. it all in his life. Thank Same you. thing, your upgrade itself could be the biggest pain because you will lose your children, you will lose the life because you think one thing, I want to tell you one thing, because the first child, the child that you have, the family that you just imagine, right, age of 40, you're trying to do the same thing again. It's going to be difficult. I'm not saying it's possible. Some people are divorced mm -hmm. because of the right reason uh, and they want to start again. It is good and you have to keep on trying. You never give up. For those who chosen to come off and not giving enough try and you had the mentality of I now want to upgrade my wife to something else <laughs> or sisters want to upgrade the brother to mm, another yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, the brother and sister that you've upgraded into could be the biggest regret in your life. Thank you, sir. Enjoy with who you have. Make her feel you love her. Make the brother that you love, that's for the sisters. And trust me, Absolutely. successful marriage is when you both can love one another in your older age when there's no youthness, there's no attraction, but the love keeps you both going and this is called successful marriage. Fantastic. Fantastic. Show me, do you have any poem to say to us? Any I say English egg. Is there any poem you know? <laughs> It'll be nice, interesting. I come to you. English? We only no, got not, really. not English, okay? No, no, no. It'll be interesting. Okay, I want uh, we only got ten minutes left. So yeah. I want your um, some kind of experience from your marriage okay. life that you fell and give you your secret everyone communicational <laughs> problems and you after we, we found out oh, I made a mistake and you know you feel sorry for what we've been. Can I have well, if, it, if it's it possible? It happens a lot of times. Okay, so give us me. one and then we. Um, uh, not specific, but one thing um, I faced like uh, again and again that my ego problem. So it was very, very difficult to sacrifice the ego. And I would uh, frankly say that like. When you first, say ego, what uh, does it mean? What does it mean? You know, like sometimes every Pacific. times everything is not like very smooth and uh, life is not made of roses. Like and uh, your husband is definitely not um, out of, you know, that he's very flawless. And as you were talking about <laughs> that we have flaws. So uh, when it happens that he's doing something what I didn't expect, then um, I might be getting <coughs> angry and I cannot um, take it easily. And I sometimes stopped um, uh, talking for a while. Then, um, then basically, in th this case, he was taking a huge responsibility and responding in a very smart, responsible manner and trying to um, uh, make the conversation. Okay. And gradually what happened is as he was trying and I was also responding. So nowadays, um, Alhamdulillah, that I can easily cope up with the problem happens. Mashallah. Yeah. Is there any particular time where you done it and you feel embarrassed? Like, ah, oh, uh, I yeah, took it too wrong, times. man. It's not meant <laughs> to be like times. that. Like you know. I, I, uh, once I, you know, did like I spoke in a very bad manner. And later on, I was regretting, why did I say like this? But uh, only because of my ego that I wasn't able to even say sorry. Um, but nowadays, what happened mm. that I learned to say sorry. And I, I don't, nowadays, I don't even, um, you know, give a chance to regret. Rather, just express it that, okay, you did it and express it to him that it was wrong. And he's that's the way he's, you know he's watching now. You could see. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's watching. <laughs> and he now he now understand even mm. that. Yeah, my, I I'm changed a lot, that's and right. he uh, I'll give the whole lot of uh, credit to him because he was um, keeping patience and uh, teaching me to uh, sacrifice the ego. Okay. Can I have your last say? Uh, yeah, five yeah, sure. Just last word. Yeah. To our um, yeah. So I would like to say that, you know, as I told earlier, that marriage is uh, to bring peace in life and it doesn't happen, you know, you know, blink of eye. So we have to uh, make it like we have to nurture the marriage. Um, and uh, obviously, I would like to say the youngsters definitely try to have marriage counseling to the um, elder people and who have already uh, gone through the same kind of uh, problems 
experience and the experiences. So, if you have the counseling, you will, uh, you know, act Inshallah. better after Brilliant. marriage. Thank yeah. you. Your last say to our viewers. Uh, yeah, minute. I would uh, just like to say basically that uh, marriage demands um, patience, yes. um, and a lot of us give up very quickly uh, when we when we embark on a little bit of an issue. Maybe we're not experienced enough. And marriage is not about experience. Marriage takes time to experience several things. You are going to be met by obstacles, but you need to be patient and you need to have tawakkul in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a way where you can actually embrace Him to support you and your marriage. And if you've got a good intention for marriage um, and you are patient, then uh, inshallah it will work in a way where you least expect it. So inshallah, you know, um, persevere. So perseverance and patience is extremely, extremely important. Good point. Um, do you know when we say education before the marriage, I mean people should learn. I think in, in, in Malaysia, yeah. before they marry, they, all of them they have to do Umrah at least or something like that. Yeah. It's quite amazing before the marriage, it's, you become more spiritual. Um, you, you have one minute, what can we say? I mean, I've been married for <laughs> 17 years, alhamdulillah. <laughs> and I can share that with you. Is, uh, since I started implementing Islam into my marriage, I am now finding more happiness every day. And if I was to mark myself as a husband before I was implementing Islam into my marriage, I probably even give one out of ten. Though I still enjoyed, we went out and holiday stuff. Now that I am implementing, I could easily say six at least to myself that I have gone up to six percent, and there is still more more to work on. Mm. Marriage needs. What do you think you will put on? I mean, marriage the is. Number. It's a. I want to go. <laughs> I want to reach at least nine, nine, nine out of ten. Okay. But, uh, to be successful in marriage. It, 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 it's, it's something that is an ongoing thing, like it's a dream. It's, it's, it's something that you dream to be successful on. And look at the amount of work and hardship we go through just to fulfill our dream, buying cars and housing and stuff, right? Just treat your marriage equally and your marriage will be successful. It'll give a lot of time, make sure you understand what marriage is. Understand what marriage is given you. The, 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 the children that you have in front of you, children that you are so proud of and, and daughters that you are so proud of and sons that you are so proud of is from your wife that's gone through a pain that you cannot imagine. By imagining it, you could really faint out. I'm telling you, I'm, I mean, if I talk science now, and the amount of pain that uh, you go through uh, when uh, in time of birth is it's, it's beyond imagination. But God makes it happen in such a way that, and they go through the same pain over and over for what? So that you can proudly say, these are my children. So keep that in mind. As long as you have that in mind, you could never mistreat your wife and make her feel like she is part of you. You love her and make sure you prove that by action every day. The problem we have is we think, okay, that's my wife. I don't need to do much. And la lastly, I just want to say this and we will, you know, the amount of things we used to do. And I mean, I'm not going to bring that up here, but a lot of people, they do dates, yeah. dating and stuff. Yeah. And the amount of uh, importance they give to one another, if they were given half mm -hmm. of it, to their wives and husband, their marriage would be a lot more successful. So just imagine you're dating one another, but halal way. Yeah, uh, just imagine that you have to impress your wife every day. And sister, imagine that you have to impress your husband every day, but you will argue. And when, when you have friendship, Thank you, you argue, but you make up. So marriage is about fr uh, friendship. And the best thing out of a marriage is you find peace, like you said, tranquility, ease, and live together and have the dream that you want to to, uh, I don't give together. you pen anymore next time. <laughs> you become a philosopher. And Thank you. Last thing I said, you can do it. Don't give up. Inshallah. Stay with marriage. You got 30 seconds to oh, say something to you. First to your husband and the people of America. Right. You know, I'm so proud you're here. Please. Thank you. It, my, it's my pleasure. I, I think I would say uh, this may address the caller that uh, came in with a question and uh, my new brother over here who referenced the upgrade that as you grow with your partner, you will experience the upgrade. That the, that the upgrade comes as you know and learn and share with one another. That, that's the upgrade. The person I am now is not the same person I was when I married my husband. We change as people, we evolve and we become more mature and the more we share, the more we know one another and the closer we become. So I would say uh, look forward to
to the evolution of your marriage you. and yes. uh, grow into it uh, with you. each other. Thank you. You know, uh, thank you guys for coming in. It is a fantastic job you guys done. Dear viewers, uh, we didn't have uh, time at all and um, our prayers and our dua with your family, yourself and everybody you are spending. Allah bless everybody and make this well into a peaceful place. If we said anything wrong, please forgive us and see you next week, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank mm -hmm. you.